Hi, my name is Tessa Hicks-Peterson. I'm Associate Professor of Cultural Studies and Assistant Vice President of Community Engagement at Pitzer. In the years that I've been running the Community Engagement Center, the thing that has really struck me most is the ways in which our students interact and our faculty interact with the local communities that we're partnered with. We work on issues of immigration, education, incarceration, environmental justice, any number of social change issues that our communities are grappling with and really see the community partners as co-educators in the life of a Pitzer student and also see the opportunity and responsibility that our Pitzer students have in giving back to our local communities and participating with them in the shared and joint struggles against injustice. We hope that this is done with respect and reciprocity and we believe that with a rigorous Pitzer College education involving these community partners, our students and our local community members are really making forward movement on the issues that are near and dear to our hearts. Hi, my name is Trisha Morgan. I am the Associate Director for the Community Engagement Center here at Pitzer College. I'm also a 2008 uh, and New Resources student alumni. Um, and it's part of the work that I do in the center is uh, working with the students and also supervising a lot of our center staff, our post-baccalaureate fellows. Um, these are Pitzer graduates who participated in our community-based programs as students. And then they get the opportunity after graduation to take their learning to the next level by helping to facilitate the learning of undergraduate students in those same programs. Um, some of those programs have had a tremendous impact on students. We partner with really amazing organizations. Uh, Pitzer and CEC have um, a few core partners, which mean that we have staff members in our office that oversee those programs. Some of the work that we get to do at uh, the Community Engagement Center is really exciting. We get to work a lot with students, with community partners, with staff members, with faculty members, um, and a lot of the support that we provide provide for students is, is really critical to their learning and their engagement while they're here uh, at Pitzer. So we provide a lot of training orientation opportunities to kind of explore the socio-political, historical, and economic context for communities um, and some of the challenges that they're facing and also a lot of the gifts and the assets that they bring to the table in terms of um, their own community-based work. They teach our students tremendously. So my job often is to help support students and in, in meeting um, the, the commitments that they make with our partners so um, making sure that they have access to resources making sure that if they ha they haven't been trained or they don't feel sufficiently prepared for a particular situation that I help prepare them for that we're gonna sing our jumpstart song can everybody get their trains ready all right ready America. the jumpstart train is coming how are you choo choo the jumpstart train is coming how are you choo choo Hi, my name is Janessa Flores Parker and I am the site manager for the Jumpstart program at the Five C's located at Pitzer College. Jumpstart is a national nonprofit organization where we work with local college students and preschools um, in our area. 95% of the children in, the, in our program are either at the poverty level or below. So what we do is we uh, partner up students to go into classrooms and they work one-on-one -on -one individually with children and we focus on literacy skills. So that's everything from alphabet awareness, um, phonemic awareness, uh, understanding rhyme. But I think most importantly what we do is we serve, um, you know, we serve as friends to children and also as an introduction to what education could look like. So while we do have our skills that we do in domains that we focus on with the kids, it's really important to recognize that the friendships that are built each year between the children and the students in our program and knowing that the work that we do continues on um, as the children go on throughout their own educational paths. Right. Let them find our shelter color on the carpet. All right. Yeah. So I, I don't want you to hold my friends. What if all right, if you can hear me, put your hands on your head. Mm -hmm. oh. If you can hear me, put your hands on your hips. Mm -hmm. If you can hear me, put your hands on your knees. Mm -hmm. If you can hear me, put your hands on your stomach. Mm -hmm. Stomach? Yes, no. If you can hear me, put your hands in the air. And wave them like you're just okay. And put your hands in your lap. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm Casey Chong. I'm the team leader of the Teen Narwhals that teaches at Easter Seals Upland for Jumpstart. Um, and essentially, what Jumpstart is is sending teams of college students into communities, into marginalized communities, into the preschools, and being mentors and teaching a little bit twice a week. Um, 
and it's something that's really, really close to my heart, near and dear, and such a beautiful program in a lot of ways and for a lot of different reasons. Um, for both the college students that are a part of it and for the communities that we're involved in and for the students themselves, for the preschool students that we work with. Uh, for, the, for the college students, it is so important. I think so many college students live in such a bubble. They don't even interact with the community right outside of their door. It's so important to be involved with those communities and to actually know the place that you're living in and to know that this college world isn't the only place that exists. And to actually spend the time that you have in college helping others is something really, really special. And on, for the students that we work with, it's okay that they're never going to remember our names. And it's okay that they're never going to remember our faces, but we will have helped them learn how to write their names for the first time. And that's something that they're going to do for the rest of their lives. And seeing a little kid smile because he knows the first letter of his name is one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever felt. And it's just, it's, it's a very beautiful and special program that I hope will stay around for a very long time. Hi, my name is Sharon Kennan. I am a counselor case manager at Prototypes Women's Center in Pomona and a graduating NRS senior from Pitzer College. Prototypes is a residential treatment facility for women and children. Um, it is the first of its kind, hence the name Prototypes. Prototypes opened its doors for women and children to receive treatment about 30 years ago. Prototypes was the first treatment program that was designed to um, help women and their children. Prior to them opening their doors, uh, women had to seek treatment without their kids. Um, they would either have to leave them with family members or if they were in the system, they had to finish treatment before they could get their kids back. Um, the curriculum here at Prototypes is designed to help women with their specific needs, which is a little different than men. Women have experienced trauma, they've had experienced uh, domestic violence. We also address um, issues such as uh, mental health. Um, we have parenting centers here, so the children attend school just as their mothers do, so we have different age groups of schools. We have kids here up until 11 years old. At the time, or at this time, we have probably about 143 women that live here, along with 60 children. We are licensed up to 90 kids, so um, we have a large population here, and it is like a small community. Um, we've been working with Pitzer for about 15 years now. Um, Pitzer has sent various students with various um, desires to help with our women. As you see right here, this is the mural that was created about four years ago. Um, we do GED classes. We do poetry with um, Professor Harris. This is a wonderful partnership that Pitzer and Prototypes have combined together. Our women truly, truly enjoy having that interaction with community partnerships. Um, we're always open to any ideas that students may have as far as what they would like to present with our community. Um, our women love to interact with students because it makes them feel like they're part of the community. It takes them out of the reasons that they are here. Um, it allows them to feel like they're part of something. Um, if you have any ideas that you want to bring to the table, please see the uh, Community Engagement Center. And we take donations at different times of the year, say Christmas, um, Halloween. Um, and we here at Prototypes truly appreciate all of the efforts that Pitzer College puts into engaging with our clients. Thank you. My name is uh, Fernando Romero. I am the director of the Pomona Economic Opportunity Center, the Pomona Day Labor Center, um, also known as uh, Centro Jornalero de Pomona. And the PEOC uh, has been around for almost 20 years. Uh, we've been around since 1998. Uh, I have been uh, acting as a director for the last two and a half years. Um, and what the POC uh, is most recognized and one of the services that we provide that is most recognized is the, uh, the day labor program. The day labor program uh, has been uh, the core uh, program since the beginning in 1998. And through that program, we've been able to facilitate a lot of uh, job development, work development, specifically for low-wage immigrant workers in the city of Pomona and surrounding regions, including 
Um, this is Ontario, Diamond Bar, San Dimas, that, that kind of thing. Uh, so we do a lot of, a lot of um, job development, um, a lot of trainings around OSHA 10, health and safety for the workers. Um, we do a lot of, uh, as well as a lot of uh, wage theft work. So that's also one of the other things that we uh, conduct uh, as an in-house service. Um, a lot of wage theft uh, prevention, education, a lot of wage theft uh, mediation with the uh, uh, Labor Commission and other agencies that provide these services to the workers as well. Um, and since my time, we've added uh, two new programs. One of them is the uh, Women Workers Program. So since the summer of 2015, we've had uh, an active uh, group of women workers and a lot of, a lot of the uh, a lot of the work that the women workers receive is also very local. It's also uh, catered or tailored toward uh, low wage women workers, women workers. Uh, Nombre, su apellido y su teléfono. Um, entonces comenzamos con Cruz. <coughs> Buenos días, mi nombre es Martínez, soy miembro de POC. Buenos días, mi nombre es María Elías, soy miembro de POC. Buenos días, mi nombre es Mariana, soy miembro de la comunidad. Hello, I'm the intern for CLEAR, so I work with the women here at the Day Labor Center. Basically what I do is I do secretarial, secretarial work for them, so basically I record what's going on in the meetings and I report that back to Eddie, as well as I'm helping them uh, have encuentros with the students of concern, organize their classes. Yeah, so uh, yeah, my name is Eddie Gonzalez, I'm a Day Labor Organizer with the Pomona Day Labor Center, and I'm also the organizer for the Women's Worker Program, the Compañera Lee Líderes Emprendedoras Activas Revolucionarias, uh, which stands for um, Active Revolutionary Leaders and Workers. Uh, and basically, the Women's Worker Program is a program which allows for um, women to be able to find some time in a mix of extra income. Um, these are women who are either single mothers or women who have their families who are still trying to make ends meet and they do it by coming to the center and finding work. Basically, a lot of the work that they uh, get is uh, cleaning, like housekeeping. Um, one of the things that have been successful has been how they're able to um, uh, uh, cater food. They, they are, they're invited to many events to cook. And it's also a way for them to like uh, grow and become leaders. Uh, they take workshops in many different themes um, to better themselves. I uh, do a lot of civic engagement. Uh, we go to the city when we have to, whether it's to uh, ask for funds or we go to Sacramento to uh, lobby for uh, laws that are going to benefit our workers. But more than everything, it's uh, like a small family that we come together twice a week, have our meetings, uh, discuss current events, issues, uh, things that we're trying to do for the uh, improvement of the program. But more than anything, is, is giving us that opportunity of belonging to an organization that fights for social justice, uh, that distributes work, and that, you know, it's part of the community. Hello, my name is Cade Maldonado, and I'm the CASA coordinator and the Pittsburgh, Ontario Community Fellow. Casa Ontario is Pittsburgh, and Ontario's uh, community hub, essentially, where we host a number of events, from Know Your Rights workshops to art classes. We've had movie nights here in the space as well. This is where our students in Pittsburgh, and Ontario also take their classes, Ontario 101 and Ontario 105. Casa is also the office space for the Youth Mentoring Action Network, Puerto de Valle, Riverside All of Us Anon and Starting Over Incorporated, and Malo, which is a Tongan community partner. Casa is a center for arts, healing, and political consciousness here in the Inland Empire. Meiha. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm the Assistant Director of Native American Initiatives here at Pitzer College and the Community Engagement Center. One of the first things that you learn coming to Pitzer College is that we sit on the traditional and shared territory of the Gabrielino Tangba, Serrano, Cahuilla, and Ohlone Nations making this space a very exciting place to be for indigenous activities. So if you're interested in educational access for American Indian youth, 
are helping us decolonize our campus and help make space for an indigenous perspective and voice, we have programming for you. One of our most successful and programs that we have is our Elder in Residence program, where Julia Bogany and other elders are available to meet with our students, faculty, and staff to have one-on-one -on -one conversation, um, provide workshops, and to just listen. This is a unique opportunity to work hand-in-hand -hand with our elders and get to know the local indigenous communities. If you're interested in educational access for Native youth, Indigenation, Claremont Scholars is a program for you. Indigenation works with local indigenous youth here in the Inland Empire, providing mentorship opportunities and college prep workshops for our local partner schools. During the summer, we provide a three-week immersion program for Native American youth, where we recruit students from the United States, Canada, and Mexico to come to Pitzer for a unique programming. Our programming motto, Tradition for Life, Education for the Future, cuts to the core of our program, where we bring academics and indigenous elders together to better support our indigenous youth. So if you like any of these programmings, please feel free to come by the CEC and we'll hook you up. Thank you.